Okay, so we're looking at a couple 3D printed hard drive cage mounting designs that uh, I played with. This is one off of Thingiverse, and I had it mounted vertically, and it really did not work out too well. It started sagging. It really was kind of loose. Um, this was printed in PET G, so it was it probably wasn't the right material for this, but it, the print didn't actually turn out too well. I, I don't know if I can fault the design or not, but my 3D printer was having some issues. Anyways, this was way too flimsy. It was falling apart, and it was getting way too hot as there was kind of no airflow around the top. Um, you, I mounted fans on the back to help with that, um, which that is built for. So maybe if you did this in PLA, it'd be a little bit better design, but it's still very closely compacted in there so anyways I moved to uh, a really simple design that works really well I've been using that for a while uh, it's kind of just a, a flat rail system the problem with it is is the bottom base doesn't have clearance so that last hard drive is kind of resting on a little block which is not ideal so um, I could have tried to go a little higher I'm uh, sorry, a little bit lower, um, but it was, but it was kind of impossible to do that because in order to fit this many drives, uh, I just had no more clearance on the 3D printer. Uh, so, what I ended up doing is designing this, and this is modular. So if you only if you don't want to have eight uh, hard drives, you don't have to, and if we look at it closely here, it kind of has a pretty cool design. It's stackable, got plenty of venting holes, and if you look at the underside, there's those holes that you can use to stack one on top of the other. So if I stack this like that, it is good to go. And if you take the hard drive and you're pushing it in, it has plenty of clearance and there's a little lip right here so you can hear that little snap so it sticks in and then it doesn't fall out which is nice also there's this little uh, cutout here that allows you to plug in your SATA cables uh, not have the frame interfere with it and you can stack that as high as you want and if you also want it's really easy to to uh, use some super glue or some epoxy on these little knobs and it, you could have it be uh, completely rigid if you want. So I'm going to switch these rails over to this. The other benefit to these is it does have a screw hole. Um, a lot of hard drives don't have the ability to slide or sorry, do not have that center hole. So my my particular hard drives don't have that center hole. So, um, but I did design it. So if your hard drive does have that, you are able to screw it in if you would like. But otherwise, it has that lip that really holds that that hard drive in there tightly. Um, so it's it's not going anywhere. So it's a pretty good design. I feel pretty good about it. And it's time to take all my hard drives and re-rack them into this. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I was able to rack all my hard drives in these new cages and it turned out really well. I actually did a video where I kind of real time did this, but I somehow deleted it from my phone before I had a chance to, <laughs> to get it ready to go. But um, some of my drives did have that screw hole, which uh, obviously keeps it in nice and tight. But otherwise, that little lip on the edge keeps these in here just fine. And even the weight of the hard drive kind of holds this all together really nicely. Although if you did want to mount it uh, horizontally, you could super glue all those tabs and then mount it uh, however you'd like or however many you'd like. So it's really customizable. Uh, looks good. The airflow um, is really good. Uh, I don't have any temperature issues. I do have that fan back there, but uh, versus any case, and obviously this is kind of open air, so that helps, but 
uh, in general these drives are running nice and cool no issues whatsoever and I'm pretty pleased with the results and this is all printed in PLA and uh, if you want the Thingiverse design I'll include the Thingiverse link uh, in the description of this video but anyways thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this I will provide further updates on my open air server rack uh, with more videos uh, in the future. We'll see you later.